hello everyone this is kuntal back again with another tutorial so i hope everyone is doing well okay so this time i will be explaining the clamp tool inside of nuke uh, which is a common tool uh, we use in production uh, but there is some little um, confusion uh, for beginners because not only the uh, option we use but there is a little bit of extra things that we get with the clamp uh, I'll be explaining those things as well inside of this clamp. I hope uh, the clamp tool will be very much clear for you guys and uh, at, that will be a very informative tutorial for you. So let's jump in. Here you can see that I have a uh, footage which I have ga uh, gathered from the Action VFX uh, practice footage collection. You can see the logo uh, in this part. Okay, so why I have uh, chosen this particular footage because it has a proper black part and it does have uh, this kind of brighter area to just make sure uh, it can be explained with clamp. Okay, so I'll be just taking clamp and here is the little tool. Right, so by default, let's say why we use um, clamp node now clamp node can be used for two three things um, the first thing is if your footage is burned out and it has the you know um, it has been crossed the highest color information which can be like you know two three and four something like that uh, for example if I just click and drag this kind of area here so you can see here uh, the the RGB is under 1 right and the alpha is 1 okay um, if I just get this part to be calculated and this is kind of like near to the 1 but it's not been crossed the 1 value right alpha is constantly 1 okay so in certain cases what happen is uh, these values which is in RGB uh, it actually gets over uh, 1 okay so for example let me just get a grade node and I am going to you know gain it up okay so now if you see uh, the RGB value is is like more than 1 right and it is kind of like a bursting out and if I do it for the RGB A you can see the alpha is 4 so now in this case there will be a lot of issues uh, for your comb all right so for that uh, what we need to do we need to clamp it down to 1 so there is two things that you can get uh, inside of you know nuke to just check uh, where is there any you know dead pixels so dead pixel represents the 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 pixel which is you know beyond 1 all right uh, with the alpha or rgb whatever it is so what we can do there is something uh, a tool here okay which is called clip warning or uh, so basically it says no warning by default if you say exposure value now we can find out there are some you know checker boot kind of stuff to make you understand these are the part which is like exploded like it it's getting you know um, over the it, it's getting color beyond one okay so this is one thing that you can find out here or another thing you can do for is like clip test okay so you just put that here and that going to be giving you the exact result uh, what it, this thing is giving you right so yeah you can also do it like mask it like what are the lower values that you are getting okay what are the upper values that you are getting so you can kind of you know visualize the things okay this is only for visualization nothing else fine so let's jump into the clamp node here now so if i get uh, the clamp right now here and you will be getting something like this okay so whatever value it has it's having the exact same values and everything but it is clamping it down or you can say it is actually bounding it um, uh, in between 0 to 1 so like you can see this was 
around this particular area was around like 3.14 something in red 3.17 in green and 2.94 in blue and whereas where i'm clamping it it's actually becoming 111 so the most available value will be 1 that is what it's actually doing right uh so in this way uh, if you see this clip test uh you will be getting this kind of you know masked out thing right but you know, there will be no changes right no changes in between that but the changes are your numbers right so this is why we exactly use clamp to to just make every single pixel which is beyond one that should be in you know in between zero to one. But what else we can do? Let's find it out. Let me go for another thing. So like if I go and you can see this minimum value and the maximum value here, right? So it says whatever the maximum value will be set it to 1, whatever the minimum value will be set it to 0. So if you just increase it and say 0 0.02, you will be seeing like very slight changes here. You see that the date pixels or you can say that that black pixels here, it is kind of like you know uh, lifting it out, right? You see this? Kind of natural. Okay. So you can make it beyond that as well. So it will be kind of like this, okay? Towards the, you know, towards the white, fine. And the minimum value is this. So for example, 0 0.02, okay? And the maximum value can be put it down, but it kind of like a weird one, right? It's like, okay. So whatever it's doing, it's like, you know, converting each and every pixel, which is beyond one, it becoming the gray. Okay, you can see this is what my color is. So you can put it to any color as well. But obviously, we don't want to do that. So it becomes white or the gray values, uh, depending on what value we are actually putting. Now, this two is the most used thing, which uh, you know which actually works uh, physically inside of clamp node fine but there is two more things one is like min clamp 2 and max clamp 2 now what these two things are these are the thing which is actually helping you out to visualize where the maximum value and where the minimum value is working okay so if you see here the minimum value and the maximum value right now you are actually you know getting the similar values so for example if i just switch it off and put it like this i'm putting any value on top of that it is not working as you can see right why because it is actually a visualizer if you go for this to enabled you will be understanding what it exactly does but you need to change something you just go and change to these things to any color actually so for example in minimum clamp i'm just setting it out to orange and for the maximum clamp 2 i'm setting this value to the like this blue so now you can see what exactly these things are doing right let me just do it again i'm sorry for that okay and this one will be something like this maybe fine so now this is what visualization does right very simple things so if i go back to this ones you can see if i increase it it shows okay these are the areas where actually the minimum clamping is happening you see this okay so these are the things and if you set the maximum lower or upper so you can see okay these are the part which is actually the maximum clamp uh, area okay so you can see this and you can easily find out the area you wanted to make it happen right so this is how these two you know minimum clamp and maximum clamps 
works like this is like a visible one right okay i hope you guys have understood what i am saying here uh the next thing that i'll be showing you which is this mask area now this is very much important uh to know i mean most of the time we really don't bother for these things actually we really just put it uh, put the clamp and our job is done so the basic things is um the mask if i just go for like i can say red green blue what what channel you want to make it masked so if i just for example i'll just be doing like you know rgb and blue so you can see easily that it, whatever the part has that blue extra things so it is actually doing that job rgb you can see that especially these things in in blue this is becoming black and you can also switch it off to just if you want if you don't want to you know, visualize these things but you can switch it on if you want uh you do have inject option so inject is basically it's actually having this information inside of your footage and fringe uh is something which is uh, if you you know if you switch it on it going to work only to the masked area if you switch it in off it will work for the entire area if you see this if i am doing this fringe you can see uh you know here is my masks and if you see this is my fringe is working like is exactly on top of that you know masked area okay if you just switch it off the fringe area uh, will be gone so like the mask area will be gone fine i hope that's been understood uh the unpremulate everyone knows like uh you can just have um the alpha to like make it unpremulate something like that you can invert it if you want to and that will you know do the job so uh maximum uh what we can do we can just go for this masked area where you can uh you know easily work for like i can say okay these are the part where i want to uh, you know make my clamps like that so yeah this is what uh, clamps actually looks like and that's pretty much easy so i'm just repeating one more thing like minimum value and the maximum value are the most uh, you know usable thing which is like actually um, you know putting those values whatever you want right these are the main you know system but these things which is like minimum clamp 2 and maximum clamp 2 these are the basically um, a visualizer which you know makes you understand that where your mask or where your you know minimum clamp and maximum clamp is actually doing where the, those areas are right okay so that's it for today i hope this video is very much informative for you guys and i hope you understood the clamp tool uh, very well and properly uh, if there is any question please comment down below and share the videos subscribe my channel and share the channel as well and see you for next time bye bye